I'm Margaret McCabe Janicki. So my first story is, um, it uh, involves me and my mom. Again, when I was about seven-ish, seven or eight, one summer I was on break from school and my mom, uh, my parents had put me in a summer camp sort of thing, like a week, uh, week long thing. And um, one day, you know, we, it was fun. We'd go on like excursions, we'd go to museums or whatever. So, but this one day we were supposed to go to, I don't know, some museum and um, the trip for whatever reason fell through. And we had these camp counselors who were probably in retrospect teenagers themselves. They were probably not very old. And they decided, one of them knew someone I think who worked at like a fish cannery, like a, a factory where they process and can fish. And I don't know why, but these two decided this would be a great idea to take a bunch of eight-year-olds to go see. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So to get there, um, the city that we lived in at the time, it was, um, there was a, you had to basically, we were, we were down in the city. I actually lived in this kind of, I guess, the suburbs. My mom was home at the time. I was, of course, at summer camp. So, and we were on this excursion down to the, into the city. We had to get on, we had to cross a ri the river that ran through the city we had to cross it and we had to get to this factory and we had to do so by going down this really steep set of stone steps that went down into the water, like basically on the dock side of the river. And there was no railing, there was no nothing. It was just this staircase that went in, like was attached to the wall on one side, but attached to nothing on the other. And, and we were supposed to get in this little rickety boat. Um, and mind you, um, so this was like the 1980s when nobody paid attention to safety or anything like that, or it was a lot less top of mind. Anyway, I was terrified. And um, myself and, and a friend of mine, we were just sitting there on the dock crying because we did not want to get in this rickety little boat, go down these really scary stairs and into this boat. And you had to go, the, the, we were situated at kind of the mouth of the river where it opened, so it was really wide. Uh, I mean, to a child, I'm sure it probably wasn't all that wide, but it looked super wide. And then get across to this factory we were supposed to go see. Um, anyway, so I remember just sitting there absolutely terrified, crying, holding my hand, holding the hand of, of my friend, and we were both just in bits. And um, so we basically just got told to get up and get in the boat. So we eventually did, and we went across the river. And, you know, saw whatever we went, you know, this factory or whatever, and then went home. And, you know, we were fine. Everybody was safe. But when I got home, I told my mom, like, all this stuff that had gone on. And um, she told me that, you know, she was like, what time was this? And I, you know, whatever time. And she said that she had been doing the grocery shopping at that time, you know, miles away from where I was. And all of a sudden she was just randomly walking around the grocery store and she's where she'd been a million times and she felt absolutely terrified and there was no reason she didn't have panic attacks like it wasn't like that there was no reason for her to feel like that um she was perfectly safe there was nothing wrong and we figured out that it was around the same time as i was sitting crying on the dock side just absolutely terrified and um, you know, again, this was the 80s. There were no cell phones. There was no way that we could have been in any kind of contact with one another. And um, except for that. So yeah, it was um it was an interesting thing just to think about the, you know, the connection between our spirits that I in my humble, uneducated opinion, goes way outside of our bodies and our, our consciousness is way outside of our bodies and we are much more than our brains and our, and our bodies. So, and especially, you know, it being my mom, there's probably a mother child kind of connection too, that she just knew that I was absolutely terrified. And um, yeah, it was, it was very, very interesting. It hasn't really happened before or since again, but it was one of those things that just makes you realize that um, there really is more in heaven and earth Horatio. <laughs>